Hey, this is Homa from Homa Studio, and welcome to our video on exporting a transparent ping from Figma. And I'm going to show you how to do that in two ways. In this video, we'll just do a three color logo like this one here. And the finished product is going to be something like this. This is my portfolio. And over here on the bottom, you can see the H Studio where it's three color. It's a blue circle, it's a white H, and it's a black studio. And that was done in Articulate Storyline, but it could be something that's done in PowerPoint or anything like that, as long as it's on top of something else and you need the background to be transparent. So that's what we're gonna do first. So let's go back to Figma. And when I started this, this is a letter size frame that I have here, because I like to work like I'm working in Illustrator. And I also made new frames so I can copy each logo, each separate logo that I want into its own frame. So I have one logo that's three color and I'll have another logo that's actually going to be transparent. It could be just like this without the studio or it could be something like this. I'll make a second video that goes over how to do this where it's just white and transparent so it's over top of a picture. But for now, we're just going to do the three color with this white background being transparent. Now, yeah, that's fairly simple and what you have to do is basically the frame that you're on, it's called frame one right now, and it would be helpful to even change that name and just call it uh, three color logo. I'll call the frame three color logo and I'll put dashes in there so it uses it in the file name. So I'll just call that frame three color logo. That'll make things easier. Now what you can do to export it so that all this white is transparent, not the white of the H. If you look, there's a vector H that's white. There's a subtract. That's how I originally created this circle with the curve on the bottom. There were two circles that subtracted. I never flattened them, but it doesn't matter right now because it's just going to export what it sees. So I can flatten that if I want and change the name and call it blue circle like I've done on my other one. But for right now, that's fine. So I have this blue circle that's called subtract. I have my white vector H and I have black studio right there. So that's what I want to export. And I want the white part transparent as a ping. And it's on its own frame right now. And I just renamed it three color logo. And what you can do is click on the frame. Now I'm gonna go on the frame here. You could click on it here as well. And then go to the fill of the frame, not of any of the objects here, and just turn it down. I'll go right over the percentage, turn it all the way down. Now the problem is when you do that, you can't see studio because my page here is black and the type is black. If you wanna change that, just click on the page here and change that to a different color just for working like that. So it's kind of like your desktop. So right now I can see that that's transparent and that's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to export this frame like that so it's transparent and then I could use it in this kind of format down here. This one right down here with the H like that or in PowerPoint wherever you want to put it. So let's export that. All I have to do to export it is just go on the frame and again, make sure you make your frame transparent. I did that down here, it's zero. It was white, now it's zero percent. And I just wanna be on the frame. And I wanna go down here to export. Now, if you don't see anything here, you can click this little export plus sign and you can see a little preview of what it should look like. And it's showing me transparent. So that's what I want. So this should work. And it's gonna export three color logo right now. So. Just make sure it's set to ping and not JPEG or SVG or PDF. So make sure that's set to ping. You can make it a larger size if you need. You can make it a smaller size if you need. If you know it's only going to be really tiny, you could make one that's a little bit smaller if you need to. You can make it half the size. But I'm just going to do it at 100% right now. And I'm just going to hit this export. Now you can also go over here to file export as well. Now this is the new interface of Figma, but it's not that much different, but I'll show you some things in another video. But you can go here and do file export and do it from here as well. But I like doing it from here because you can kind of see what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna hit this button that says export three color logo. And there it goes, three color logo dot ping. And I'll just go into my downloads to look at it. And there it is. Now I can see even in preview on a Mac that it's transparent or otherwise it would show the white. So the H is supposed to be white, that's supposed to be blue, that's supposed to be black. So that's a transparent ping that I just exported from Figma. And again, just to review, I changed the background color or my page color a little bit lighter so I could see black and I could really understand what's happening when I export it as a transparent ping. Now in my next video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to do this. 
I'll go up here and make just a transparent white logo that you could see through the H. So you can't always just make something transparent because you might see the circle around it. So we're going to have to do subtract on that. So I'll do that in the next video, but that's exporting a transparent ping from Figma. So you could use in a web page or PowerPoint or anywhere else that you want to have it transparent and still have it three color. Thanks for watching Home Studio.